95% of all web developers suck at design and it's not really their fault, right? I mean, that's not really what we do as web developers, right? We usually have a designer who comes in and gives us the design and we make it into a reality either by creating a website, a web application, a mobile application, etc. Okay, so it's not really our fault, right? And it's not really your fault if your designs suck. But I'm going to give you guys three resources, okay? Three, okay? Three resources that if you use them, I'm guaranteeing that it's going to make you a better designer or a better developer with some UI skills, right? And, and be able to make something that looks good, okay? So let's get started, guys. You already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, coding face aka joe okay <laughs> we are here right um by the way guys this is brought to you guys by codingphase.com definitely go check it out when you guys get some time now the first resource that i have here is colorhunt.co okay this is a website where you can actually find different color palettes right i see a lot of times developers creating websites that just don't look right as far as colors and sometimes they're putting things that they don't work with each other as far as contrast, etc. Right. So definitely come check this website out, colorhunt.co. Again, you could come over here and look at some of the most popular uh, palettes that people have created in the last month. You could find the ones that are the most popular in the last year, right? You could find the ones that are the most popular of all time. Okay. Again, it has a lot of cool uh, color palettes that you get get an inspiration from okay and can really help you out on your journey now this is great for websites this is great for logo design this is great for even you know game development like sometimes you're trying to find the right colors for your game or for you know your scene this is a great place to start again you have pastels you got vintage you got retro colors you got neon colors right you got light colors dark colors right summer spring nature rainbow gradients okay um you could even find uh stuff for kids right like what will be like a good color for like a kid's website or a kid's application right this is a great website for you guys to get started and find them like your right color palette this next website actually uses ai um, to go in and help you find the right color palette for your applications let's say you're trying to find the colors for your brand guess what you have a second here which is for the brand you could come over here and basically have this generate different colors and you can see like for like a logo right or even like a product right um you see all the different examples so let's go in and generate some other ones right um as you can see this is beautiful man this is a beautiful website this is showing you guys all of the different possibilities of things that you can use with certain color palettes and again it's generating it for you there's also settings here where you could go in and say well i want to get something more like pastels colors i could also go in here and have like different generation options like hey i want to use the transformer ai i want to use uh this fusion model i want to go in and just randomize it just like hey just but you can see all of the different things here as far as like um, the different color palettes that you can choose from you could go in and change this okay and say let me try to change this to a different color right um, from there you could say hey generate this from there you could also come over here and check different colors on like color one you got color two right you got also color three again it shows you like again all of the different ways you could go and, and mix match this right you could also have an intersection which will give you like a mix of multiple colors at the same time right um, another thing that's super useful for us web developers is the websites so you could come over here and say okay i would like to find you know a color palette for my portfolio i want to find a color palette for uh, e-commerce uh, website that i'm building right um automatically you have all of the different examples like you got like a home page right you have a page with some content on it right you have the different colors here as you can see and again you can see the differences that it has here let's say generate another one right different colors again 
you could go in go crazy look at the difference uh of like contrast and one thing that you could see here like you see how it has the different background colors right sometimes i see a lot of you guys using like dark themes or dark colors for your portfolio and the contrast ratio just looks horrible or even like the space in between on um, the letters right the typography right the line height sometimes you guys have a lot of issues with this okay and in here you can see how to actually do it properly and get some ideas now again this is like a magazine you could come over here and click on like monochrome right um you can see like a, an example like this one right where it's like sticking to like mostly like two colors you have the different accents right and it gives you like different examples here like this is like three colors that you could focus on um again and again you will see different examples and you could generate uh the right one that you feel like okay this works for me and get some ideas as you can see you got the dark colors right uh, from there you also have like gradients okay maybe you guys want to go and use some gradients you can see the different examples here how you could go in and see from like two colors right you could choose like three colors gradient okay show you right here you could use like four color gradients okay then you have the five colors you want to go crazy with it you could use like a nine color gradient you could say generate and you can see all of the different examples here and you also have illustrations right so in here sometimes we're using like svgs and we're like man we don't know what type of colors we should use here is actually showing you like some different examples of different colors that you can go and use for your websites how you could go in and change this around you know make it colorful make it playful right um another thing that's super useful is basic uh bootstrap right so this is actually bootstrap itself and it shows you like a dashboard so you could find like your own style for a dashboard or a web application that you're building You could even come in here if you're using bootstrap you could just copy directly from here um, the colors and pretty much import it into your bootstrap uh theme right you got a whole bunch of different things in here man this is super useful i'm telling you guys right now this is a game changer once i found this website i was like oh my god this is the best okay because even sometimes you buy a theme but you're like man i wish this theme had a different colorway right so again you can use this um again for those of you guys that's using tailwind you can pretty much use some of these colors and just again you can override it with tailwind and do the same thing just because it says bootstrap doesn't mean that it's just for bootstrap you can pretty much use this for any type of uh, css framework that's out there now guys before we get to the last resource i want to let you guys know definitely come to codingphase.com if you haven't tried the platform out man it's my platform it's pretty much a place where you can come in learn how to code learn how to build full stack applications right we help you go from the beginning stages of like how to find your first job what are the skills that you need to get into the tech industry right uh, things like content editor html email developer and from there hold your hand through the process of learning how to become a front-end developer how to become a php developer react developer shopify team developer xr developer like pretty much everything that's in high demand right we focus on that we focus on the things that's going to get you results right this is why we always say we don't teach coding as a hobby right we basically focus on the skills that people are hiring for or skills that you can use for freelancing 
person or start making your own companies right maybe a software as a service maybe creating digital products etc right like this is what we do at codingphase.com guys we focus on making sure that you guys get the best of the best and give you guys real results okay so again the last resource that i have here is actually a youtube video and this youtube video is by tim gabe now the reason why i'm bringing this video up here is because there's so many gems in, in this video like it's crazy he gives you six ui hacks now most of the time you see this on the title like, oh six ui hacks 20 ui hacks how to become a millionaire how to yo you, you see this like clickbaity titles all the time but i'm telling you right now this right here is exactly what you guys need most web developers do not know about topography don't know about spacing don't know about contrast right uh line height don't even know how to do most of those basic stuff properly sometimes we go to a website and we say okay this website looks good and then this website looks bad but we don't know what is the right thing that's making this website look good right so he actually breaks that down in this video and again gives you you know a hack on how to work on with line height right uh letter spacing right um a whole bunch of stuff man i don't want to go in and give you guys all of the things that he has on this video because i want you guys to go and watch it yourself trust me if i'm putting it here on my video is because this is legit right i don't know this guy from a hole in the wall but i can tell you that it's a really good video because everything that i see wrong in most people's portfolios or on their web applications he basically addressed them inside of this video like if you go in and you watch this video you're gonna understand what you have been doing wrong so again you got the resources there guys you got the color hunt right uh you have human right and then of course this video by tim gabe definitely go check it out guys again i love you guys thank you for subscribing to the channel if you are subscribed if not subscribe right now we're over a hundred thousand subscribers after like six years so i really appreciate you guys that have been here since the beginning um at the same time just leave a comment tell me do you find this resources useful and are you planning on using them and definitely let me know if you're gonna watch tim gabe's video um another thing too go tell him that hey coding face sent you right hey i just watched the video from coding face it was pretty legit and he told me you had a really great resource okay shout out to him um i really like his channel uh just because he's giving real gems it's like this channel here like most of the time you'll see that what we focus on are things that's going to get you real results and one of the things that i really enjoy about his videos is like he's actually putting out gems the real things that people actually need not the fluffy stuff that's going to get a million views or random trendy things no he's focusing on actually giving you gems and helping you to get to your next goal so you know that's what we do here in the web development side so i appreciate his content in the design world all right guys so anyways man i'm gonna see you guys later it's your boy joe back at it again codingphase.com definitely go check out coding face and links on in the description okay of all the websites in the video that i talked about and also too there's gonna be a 20 percent off on codingphase.com when you click on the link on the description. I'll see you guys later. Peace.